Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel once again. Update 2.3 is live and I am doing a quick overview slash review video uh, as I like to do. Just to highlight some of the changes, give you guys some of my thoughts uh, on the upcoming changes and uh, to let you know what I think. Share my opinion and hopefully you'll share mine with me. That is what this is all about. Um, so update 2.3 is here and it is titled Speed Racers, uh, which fits with the fact that we are receiving some new uh, light tanks into the game. But uh, I will go over that shortly. I'm going to start off by covering the new game mode, which is called Team Destruction. It's effectively a team deathmatch mode where there is no objective. Uh, as it says, base capturing can be fun and all, but how about total destruction for a change? We've listened to your feedback and have added an entirely new game mode into random battle matchmaking called Team Destruction. Unlike the other game modes, Team Destruction will feature no bases to capture and instead focuses on the destruction of the enemy team. Destroy the entire team or cause the most destruction within the allotted time to secure the win. Team Destruction will be available in multiplayer and team training across all current maps. The time limit is 15 minutes with your goal being to destroy the entire opposing team. There are some tie-breaking conditions uh, just in case the ticker runs out. Uh, so if the clock ticks all the way down to zero from 15 minutes, uh, the tie-breaking conditions are as followed. Uh, so tie-breaking condition one, the team with the most survivors will win the game and uh, tiebreaker condition two uh, so if you don't have the most survivors but if your team has caused the most uh what is it no surely that won't work um sorry guys i'm explaining it wrong if your team has total if <laughs> sorry guys i'm completely just herpaderping but it says the team whose total HP pool of killed enemy vehicles is higher than the opposing teams. That is the second tiebreaker condition. I'm not sure if it takes the two into consideration um, in the same game, if you see what I mean. So do you have to win? Uh, does it only consider the one condition? I don't know. But... Um, I haven't played it yet, so I can't really comment on it too much. Um, I haven't experienced it yet. I'm sure some of you have updated the game already and have done, uh, have experienced it and um, can probably shed more light on the issue. But those are the tiebreaker conditions and I think this is a good feature. I want to let you guys know that I think that this is a good feature for them to be adding into the game. As it said, they've listened to the community's feedback and are introducing this into the game because it's what you guys wanted right so that's dope you know people the developers listen to what you guys said and have put something in the game because of it and that's what we all want at the end of the day you know so it's good but i have my reservations about it and i need to let i need to share my opinion with you all about my reservations with this game mode because your reservations may be the same or you may not have the same reservations but after hearing my reservations you might feel the same so i don't know i just need to i just need to let it out and let you guys know what my thoughts are um i think it's good as i've stressed already i think it's good a new feature is always good and they've introduced a new feature based on your feedback so cool okay happy with that definitely definitely but, um, okay, reservations. So, there's no objective. Okay, that's obvious. <laughs> um, but there's no objective. So, won't the games be really campy? Won't people intentionally... I can just envision people intentionally sitting back and, you know, camping. Waiting for the enemy to come to them uh, in advantageous positions now obviously this is a real factor of tank warfare if you know that the enemy is coming 
um, you know, in, in real tank warfare, you don't capture flags and win the game or <laughs> win the engagement because of it. But you know what I'm trying to say, okay? I'm, I'm trying to think of how it applies to the game. So you can have, you got 15 people against another 15 people. Say one of those teams doesn't move, okay? Isn't that basically assault without the cap? And that's, I don't know. I just, I just don't think, ah, oh man, I just don't think that that will be a good thing, you know? And I hope that, I hope that you guys agree because I just can't, uh, you know, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to find the words here, but it's, uh, yeah, that, that's just one of my reservations, okay? I can think that guys are just going to sit back and let you come to them. And when you do go to them, you're going to get killed by their entire team who is sat behind a hill, you know, cover of buildings. Um, the objective is to kill the you, the you, <laughs> English, all of the enemy team. And I don't know, I just... I just have a like a really bad feeling that that's going to happen. And I hope it doesn't. I hope the battles are, you know, I hope they're great. I hope people jump into the battles and think, right, let's go get them. You know, I hope both teams sit there and go, let's go get them. There's no cap to worry about. There's no objective to worry about. Let's fucking storm over that hill and kill the tanks, okay? Kill all of the enemies because that's what we were sent here to do. And I'm going to carry my duty out as I'm instructed to do so by this new game mode, which I'm hype about, okay? I hope people do that. I hope you get to that level of hype and be like, ah, I just want to kill them all, okay? I hope you get like that. But there are going to be people who sit back and go, nah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to chill behind this hill. I'm just going to sit here, you know, I'm going to encourage my team to do the same. They're going to come to us. We're going to kill them one by one and... The engagements aren't going to be that fun, but it will win them the game. And fair, you know, fair play, it will win them the game. Okay, I can't dispute that tactics will be used to win the game. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. You want to win the game. You want to get more experience than the other team. You want to get all the kills, and you want to win the game, right? But don't do it like that, man. Come on, please, for for the community's sake, for everybody's sake of this new game mode which loads of people have been highly anticipating and asking for for ages. Don't ruin it, please. Please, for them. I'm saying it for you guys. I'm saying it for you guys. <laughs> Go out there and hunt them down like, like a fox, you know, like a fox hunt kind of thing. Like fox hunt? Yeah, <laughs> like a fox hunt. Like a pack of hounds in a fox hunt. You know, hunt them down. I'm not, by the way, I'm not, I just want to clear this up. I'm not, in, you know, I'm not saying that fox hunts are right. They're definitely not. <laughs> I'm not encouraging it. But you know what I'm saying with the reference. So chill. Um, but yeah, that's just my reservations about the game mode. You may feel the same. If you don't, hit me up in the comments and let me know. I want to, you know, this, like I said, that's what it's all about. I want to hear your views about what you think about it. And I'm sure loads of you are, you know, loads of you are happy to hear that this is being introduced, but some of you may have reservations of your own, which may differ to mine. And I'm sure they will, because we're all human and we all got our own opinions. So let me know, share that with me, and uh, you know, kick off a debate in the comments. That's what it's all about. But pff, moving on, okay? It's about the update. It's not about just this game mode. I got to cover the rest. <laughs> But, um, right, we are getting some new American and Soviet light tanks. That is the second point of this video, the introduction of new American and Soviet light tanks. So we got the RU-251 in the last update, update 2.2, brought us the Spa Panzer, aka the Spy Panzer. I'm sure many of you have picked it up by now and you're enjoying yourselves or maybe not enjoying yourselves as much as you thought you would but um we got that in the last update and as 
these tanks were introduced on the PC all at the same time. The following light tanks have followed in the RU-251's footsteps. Or not its footsteps, its tracks. <laughs> you see what it did there? But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, they have followed in the RU-251's tracks and they've been introduced in the next patch. I mean, I think I said in my update 2.2 video that with the introduction of the M41B Walker Bulldog, the Brazilian premium, the special premium, um, that these tanks would be coming next. I didn't think that it would be the Soviets as such. I thought it might just be the Americans on their own. Um, but we've got them all, which is great news. Uh, so joining us are the T-37, uh, the M41 Walker Bulldog and the T-49 as seen in this picture right here. So this is the T-37, which effectively replaces the Chaffee. Um, you can see it shares the, uh, the old Chaffee turret, which the Chaffee used to have. Um, I believe it gets a 60, not, not a 60, sorry, a 76 millimeter gun. Um, but I may be wrong, so please correct me um, if that is the case. Uh, we also get the M41 Walker Bulldog, which is at tier 7. And I think this also gets a 76mm gun, but it does get the option to have an autoloader with 10 shots in the clip. Um, and I think, I think the T37 gets an autoloader option as well, but don't quote me on that. Um, like I said, I'm probably wrong, but uh, I think it does. Somewhere in my memory, I'm thinking that that's the case. Uh, but as you can see, the the, uh, the M41 Walker Bulldog looks exactly the same as the Brazil, except it's the American Army variant, um, which was introduced to the PC a while ago, and we've got it now. Uh, but it doesn't have the 90 millimeter gun, which the M41B does have. So. This, in my opinion, okay, you may disagree, but in my opinion, this is the better variant of the tank because it doesn't fire HE as standard ammo, which the 90 mil version, Brazilian version, the Brazilian Bulldog, as it's called, uh, does. This gets a better, uh, better penetrating, sorry, better penetrating rounds. Um, so you don't really struggle as much. You don't have to load the heat that the 90 mil has. Uh, to do sufficient damage, in my opinion, okay? Uh, but this, the uh, the star of the show in the middle is the T49, which is the tier eight, and uh, it sports this in this scary looking um, 152 millimeter gun. No word of a lie, ladies and gentlemen, 152 millimeter gun on a light tank so it's a kv2 that moves like jagger okay this thing shifts and it's a kv2 that oh my goodness man it's a kv2 that can go fast and it gets heat rounds i do believe i do believe but uh waffle drivers are not gonna like this thing at all if you get hit by that 152 through your gun shield with that HE ammo, rip. Catch you later. Uh, but uh, moving on to the Russians or the Soviets, we get the LTTB and the T-54 lightweight. The LTTB here on the left at tier seven respectively and the T-54 lightweight at tier eight. The T-54 lightweight, very highly anticipated once again um, it's a T-54 with slightly less armor and uh, not, I think, a worse gun. I think uh, maybe, I don't think it's a smaller caliber. I think it's still an 100 mil, but I may be wrong. So like I keep saying, if I am, let me know in the comments and correct me because it's good when you guys do that because you cover for my mistakes. Um, but yeah, I think this, I think the LTTB leads... I think you get it from the MT-25, the tier six, um, and it goes up to the LTTB and then the T-54 lightweight. 
comes after that. Um, so that is the Soviets. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to these, all of these light tanks being introduced, so I'm sure you'll be pleased to know that that is happening. Although chaffy drivers, look at this section right here. Chaffy drivers might not be so happy, man. Um, as a reminder, the chaffy has undergone a few modifications. However, it will no longer see tier 10 battles, which I think is a good thing. But uh, it gets its 76 millimeter gun removed and it has a 75 millimeter gun now. Um, and we did get the T-37 turret removed from the Chaffee, I think when we moved over to Xbox One and the model got changed to HD. But again, I might be wrong. Uh, so you get the smaller, the slightly smaller turret and the 75 millimeter gun instead of the 76. Um, the patch notes aren't actually live yet. Normally when I do these videos, the patch notes are live, but hopefully by the time I put this video up, the patch notes might be live. So just for future reference, the patch notes will be in the description of this video. Um, they may take a few days to come up. I don't know when they're gonna go live, but I will add them to the description of this video for you guys to check out for you Chaffee lovers to dip your hands into and see what changes are occurring to your favorite vehicle. Uh, also, we have the third point of this video, which is we have some maps returning to the map rotation, which is brilliant. These maps were removed a while ago. I can't exactly recall. I can't recall the exact date, guys, but um, the, the maps were removed and they were getting reworked and completely rebuilt in HD. Uh, so we are seeing the return of Airfield, uh, Live Oaks and Siegfried Line, all of which I am happy to see return, most definitely. Um, I'm sure you guys probably will be as well. I know these are some of the more popular maps in the game for a few of you, but some of you may disagree. You know, as I said, it's all about opinion and uh, some of these maps might not be your favorite whatsoever. Um, Siegfried line I'm not really I'm not massively fond of but I do like it as a map and hell man if it's in HD now why not it's, I mean it's okay it's okay it's not one of my favorites but it's okay definitely uh, very happy to see Airfield return and uh, very happy to see Live Oaks return as you can see this is Live Oaks in HD and that is Airfield in HD and uh, they look pretty and I'm very happy to see them return and uh, that is about it for now guys but there is also a small surprise in your garage if you've not updated yet and um, I'm sorry to say that I'm gonna have to ruin a surprise for you so uh, I'm gonna go to my garage now and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about <laughs> Yes, so I've just killed the surprise for probably a few people and I must apologize, but uh, this is the special garage, of course, themed to Halloween, which is coming soon. Uh, I can't wait to have my Halloween party, man, let me just tell you now, but uh, it's also my housewarming party, so it's going to be cool, man, I'm looking forward to it, but this is the theme of the garage and uh, they've definitely outdone themselves from last year. Everything is looking awesome. Look at all the pumpkins laying around. We've got the scarecrow in the background with the pumpkin head lit up. And it has a tank helmet on as well. <laughs> got the blood moon in the background, as you can see. A couple of ghosts flying around, some spooky shit. Who are you going to call? And a couple of graveyards in front of the tank. With the green LEDs lighting it up. That's all the people that I've killed in the game, guys. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that eight? It looks like eight. There's one in the background that's not in the lights. Uh, so a shocking number of people. Not very many. Uh, but the marks of excellence would suggest otherwise. <laughs> but um, don't it look cool, man? I just thought I would show you guys. And, you know, props to Wargaming for... You know, putting these little fun additions into the game. And uh, it does make it nice and pretty for us to look at. 
So uh, that is about it for this video, guys. There's not really much else for me to cover. Um, so have fun with the new game mode. Let me know what you guys think of it. And, um, you know, share your opinions on the light tanks, what you think of them. And, uh, you know, the changes to the chaffy, the introduction of the new maps. Let me know what you guys think. Post a comment in the section below. And uh, I've got another video coming for you guys soon. And uh, until next time, I will catch you then. So peace out.